The stonefly is an ancient insect that predates the oldest dinosaur. It thrives only in the cleanest and most oxygenated waters. A common misconception is that all stoneflies are big and that their emergence is a bellwether of spring. Most are actually rather small and many hatch in the dead of winter. Winter stoneflies are dark to absorb the heat of the sun and when temperatures drop to below freezing, the relatively warm insects simply melt into the insulating snow. Some stoneflies are gargantuan. It takes a full three years for the lumbering nymph of the Taranarces stonefly to achieve maturity. This unusual multi-year lifespan provides an important food source for fish during seasons when most aquatic insects are in their egg or nearly microscopic states. This little fish obviously doesn't appreciate the important role the nymphal play during the lean seasons of late summer and fall. The nymph is a weak swimmer, and when subjected to the current, it becomes a weightless and utterly helpless creature. Compare the buoyant nature of the nymph with the lead-filled imitations used by most fly fishers. After three years underwater, the nymph moves to the shallows, crawls on shore, then stumbles inland until it finds the perfect perch from which to molt. Unlike butterflies and other insects who go through a pupal phase, the primitive stonefly undergoes what is known as incomplete metamorphosis and transforms directly from the nymph into the winged adult. The adult stonefly may live for weeks on the river's edge, hiding in streamside foliage, mating, and occasionally returning to the water for a sip to drink. In the process of laying their eggs, many get trapped on the water and once again become available to hungry trout. Mm -hmm. 